Hey guys, Eric from mobilemusthave.com here, and today we are going to show you the new Parsec Falcon mobile antenna for mobile routers. All right, thanks so much for joining us, guys. Uh, this antenna is actually, we're very excited about it because we've had customers for a very long time asking us if there's anything they can do to get some additional cellular signal strength uh, when they're a bit further away from cell towers without having to drill a hole up in their roof or to run wires if they're in a marine application. And the answer is yes, you can do something about that using this new Parsec Falcon portable antenna. Now the Parsec Falcon has actually been on their website for a little while and they did sort of a pre-launch for it a while back, but we found that it wasn't really in the channel and it wasn't available in very many locations. So we reached out to the folks at Parsec and we talked to them about the fact that we thought this would be a popular unit uh, for our customers and they made sure to get some available for us. So to give you kind of a quick overview here, this is a two by two MIMO antenna. Uh, meaning that it has two cellular elements or cellular antennas inside this case here. Uh, this is about seven inches from top to bottom and about six inches left to right. So it's pretty portable. And on the back side here, you've got some mounting options. It comes with these foldable here legs that allow it for uh, to basically be used for a tabletop installation. But then it also includes a suction cup mount as well as a wall anchor and screw mount for a more permanent installation on a wall or something that's not glass. Um, we find the suction mount option is a great one for mobile use. Uh, you can install this suction cup right up into here. And then this antenna can essentially mount right up in um, a, a window in the RV or in the uh, boat or marine application, giving you um, an antenna that is going to suffer a lot less from interference if this were like mounted behind a wall in your mobile application. Because this is a two by two MIMO cellular device, meaning it has those two cellular antennas, this single antenna kit is gonna work for category four, category six, category seven, category 12 uh, devices. So anything that uses two cellular antenna connectors is gonna work with one antenna. If you have a dual modem device like our Transit Pro that may have dual category 12s or a combination of seven and 12 where you have two modems, you can pick up two of these and you can mount them next to each other. The manufacturer recommends four inches or more of distance apart so that they perform and don't interfere with each other, but it's absolutely possible. If you have a 5G device or a category 20 device, which was the top of 4G before 5G came out, then those will use four cellular antennas or four by four MIMO. So you'll also want to get two of these for those applications as well. Now you could in theory take two of the small antennas and connect them to two antenna ports and then use this for the other two, that would likely work. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get two of these, although they're pretty inexpensive if you look at the listing page, sub $100. So for the performance that they give, if you're not interested in looking at the roof antenna, um, which will give you even more performance, this is a great option to get two of these. But you can mix and match if you wanted to add two stubbies and two of these to get yourself a little added benefit, um, at least for the two that were using this antenna. Just remember, never leave cellular antenna ports open with nothing on them. That can cause a lot of problems with your connectivity. So always connect an antenna of some sort to those cellular antenna ports and those Wi-Fi ports. The cable that they've included here is called an LSR 200 cable. And, and that's a very heavy duty cable um, for such a short, uh, amount of cable, six feet, but it's still very flexible, like I said before, and that's going to seriously help this antenna be a top performer. In, ter in terms of performance, you typically see, uh, this is a, a, pep, a PepLink PepWave uh, antenna that comes with uh, just about all of our popular mobile routers. And this is a two decibel gain antenna. Uh, meaning you'll, you'll, you'll do quite a bit better than like a cell phone with that right out of the box with the two decibel gain. Uh, this antenna is a four decibel gain antenna. And for every two, I think it's like two and a half, 
uh, dB of gain, you're looking at 100% more cell signal because of how cell signal is measured exponentially. So what you you're really looking at is 100% signal improvement with a product like this. Now, in our real world testing, having this mounted directly on a PepWave device with just kind of your local stubby antennas inside, maybe away from a window a little bit, uh, a PepWave device uh, will do pretty well uh, as long as it's got relatively decent cell signal. And even in with these antennas, we will see folks pick up decent signal when a cell phone's barely picking up any. So two decibels does make a big difference along with the fact that there's a little bit more power in the PepWave device because it's direct wired uh, to your uh, power source. But in real world applications, when we apply this located near a window, we're typically seeing six, seven decibels of gain improvement. Uh, some of that's because of the antenna and some of it's because we're getting closer to the outside uh, by mounting this uh, up against a window. But that's a major improvement, you know, 200% plus by using something like this. And you don't really have to install it. It's a window mount application. The Falcon comes in two kind of flavors currently from a cable perspective. The one I'm holding here is your SMA cables. Um, they look like very small um, cable TV connectors with a small center pin in the middle there. And this is the connector for the cellular side of PepLink devices, just about all of the mobile routers we sell. The only exception would be the MBX line, which is our enterprise line, which uses a QMA connector. But we do have adapters if that was something you were interested in looking at. Uh, the second uh, type that you can get is called a TS9 connector, and you'll see these right here. We'll give you a close-up of those as well. TS9 connectors are popular in mobile hotspots. Uh, quite a bit of mobile hotspots use these. Um, Verizon 8800, the uh, Netgear Nighthawk, um, all the way up. Uh, pretty much all of the versions will use that TS9 connector. So you've got a couple different flavors in terms of connectors that you can use as of July 2022. Uh, if you do pick up the TS9 variant of this, it will come with an additional accessory to what we've talked about already, and that is that it will come with this, which is a small little case for a Netgear Nighthawk router. Um, you can also put another hotspot in there typically, or, or possibly, I shouldn't say typically, if it'll fit in there. And it just gives you a way to have this device also window or glass mounted or wall mounted um, to kind of clean up the installation application if you're using with this with a Netgear Nighthawk. Um, that isn't going to work for everybody, but it is a nice touch and they don't charge very much more in the TS9 bundle to give you this option. Parsec has given us word just as of yesterday, and we said, oh, we're filming the video right now, that they are looking to change up how this works from a TS9 and SMA connector perspective in the coming months. Could be uh, Q4, could be a little bit earlier of 2022. But again, just look at the description and we'll update that if they change anything related to what ships in the box. Uh, again, though, PepWave devices, you're going to want SMA connectivity and mobile hotspot devices typically will be TS9 connectivity, but check your mobile hotspots connectors. There are some other ones out there we've seen, but the vast majority are going to use TS9 connectors. So in closing, the Parsec Falcon antenna is going to give you a decent amount of additional cellular coverage if you mount this up in a window compared to those small stubby antennas. Now, Word to the wise folks, if you are looking to do a permanent RV or marine installation, we do recommend you go with a permanently installed antenna. When you get into some of those larger antennas like the Parsec Husky uh, or the Belgian Shepherd or some of those large high performance antennas, uh, because they're mounted up on the roof, up outside, uh, nice and high up so they can see the tel cell tower, and because they're larger and have larger antenna elements inside to pick up the signal, uh, they can do even better than these. Uh, but this is portable and very easy to use. So like most things, smaller uh, is going to give you less performance. Smallest, least performance, this is better. Roof antenna would be best. The Parsec Falcon is a 600 megahertz to six gigahertz antenna or a six to six antenna. So you are gonna get the benefit of 5G support and 600 megahertz, uh, all the way down to 600 megahertz. So this is gonna support all of the cellular spectrums. If you're thinking about purchasing this product or any product on mobilemusthave.com, 
we highly recommend that you check out our membership programs. Membership programs give you discounts on everything on our store. Uh, they give you access to the dogs in the warehouse. No, just kidding. Uh, they give you access to discounts on mobile data plans. And probably most importantly, they give you access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com, which includes forum access for asking more advanced troubleshooting technical support questions. That forum is staffed by myself and other team members. So if you wanna take a look at the memberships, typically they will pay for a mobile internet purchase or the mobile internet purchase will pay for the cost of the membership on your first purchase. It's really something worth taking a look at. Uh, lots of savings there, upgraded shipping, all sorts of stuff, too much to kind of list. But if you go to membership.mobilemusthave.com, there's different membership level options um, with different benefits. Just check that out before you make a big purchase. Uh, that could save you some money and some headaches and some time. For a detailed list of specifications on this product, go ahead and hop over to the listing page and click on the documentation tab, which will give you a link to the manufacturer specifications with all of the details on the performance specification data. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about this product or any product on our website, please make sure to reach out via chat in the bottom right hand corner to speak to a representative. You can also email us at info at and we will see you on the road. Thanks so much for watching.